morning, December 22nd, 2022. A little bit chilly here in South Georgia again this morning, but we're here and that by tomorrow night, before the sun goes down, or right about that time, it's going to be freezing and it's going to jump all the way down to the upper teens or the lower 20s. So we're all trying to get all ready for it and get our gloves out and get our pipes wrapped and there's even some talk of the power going out because of people uh, running too many heaters. But anyway, I'm out here with olive oil, my Wesley Special Howard Hill Longbow with the string that is getting very thin up here I hope it doesn't break and uh, I'm gonna be shooting I got three arrows here let's see what I can do with these shots here that's about as good as you can get right there I put a new target up there. That is an Enmark coffee cup that I saw laying on the ground here. I don't know who put it on the ground, but I picked it up. The middle one between the two pieces of aluminum foil. That is a pristine target. And I'm going to see what I can do with it. All right, Gardner Israel did it. Let's see if I can screw up now. Uh-oh, here's a arrow that the knot came out of here. That's not gonna work at all. Now, I don't know what happened to the knot. Let me go get another arrow. This is the third arrow. Let's see. I'm going to choose the right hand piece of aluminum. It's a piece of a pie plate. And let's see if I can get a, a string of three good hits. But before I do that, I want to tell you something that I've been thinking about. Now, I did a little investigation the other day. I said on one of my other videos that the Deep State, Bill Gates, all of these multinational corporations who are really owned and run by Satan himself in his attempt to take over the world and to throw us all into slavery so that we may be forced to bow down and worship him. And I made the statement that Hershey's chocolate company was essentially buying up the water all around the world and the United States so that they not only could control the food which they control many of the food companies but also control the water and then sell it to us in little bitty bottles for a dollar and 97 cents water is absolutely necessary these people are buying up our water. They're using, they're going into the different political uh, regions and they are paying off politicians and they are allowing them to buy up the, the streams of pure water, the springs of pure water, and they are bottling it in plastic containers and they are selling it to us for two dollars or so tell you one little story about my sister I'd say this was 20 years ago she went to the uh, a chicken place here in town and uh, it was actually called Smith's fried chicken and she bought some chicken and they asked her, uh, do you want 
anything to drink. And she and they told her, and she said, I just want some water. And they told her, okay, that'll be a dollar. And she was absolutely frustrated and flabbergasted. She told them, I never heard of anybody charging you for water. And they told her, well, it's a dollar. I'm talking in a cup. Well, all of her life, she had grown up, water's free, you know, water, no matter where you eat, they're not going to charge you for water. That was some 20 years ago, but now it's commonplace. These guys, these corporations who are essentially companies owned by Beelzebub, Satan himself. Or his minions, his people that he has corrupted and caused to work for them. The water was given to us by God. They can't, you would think they can't own the water, but they do because of our corrupt government. Now, Hershey's, so I said, well, I don't really know if Hershey's has done this. I, I just had it in my mind, so I started looking it up on the internet. Well, it turns out that the big company is another chocolate company called Nestle's. They are headquartered in Switzerland. And I got into a kind of a deep dive about what all was going on. You might want to look at that. Nestle's owns a, almost all the food companies. And then they own, on down the line, they own the companies that process the foods. And they own the companies that buy the foods from the farmers. And they own the farms. They own it all. They are, they are very close to taking over the world to control our food and to control our water. Don't know what you can do about it, but I think it would be good to find out, you know, to get yourself informed on it. Baby food companies. For years, Nestle's has been sued over and over again for selling baby food that was contaminated. It's a big scandal, but the general public doesn't know about it. Now, what does that have to do with me sitting here with the bow and arrow shooting at a foam deer target and a coffee cup that I picked up off the ground? Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to start moving towards providing yourself with some food of your own. Gardening, hunting, fishing, Raising chickens, raising ducks. I do like ducks. You really? The time is coming when you're going to go and you're going to be told there is no food. For those that are awake, you know, I'd say go ahead and bite the bullet. See if you can't sell that two hundred fifty or three hundred thousand dollar house in the city, and buy you ten or twenty acres out there somewhere and throw you up a a cabin and start trying to prepare for what's going to happen. All right. If I can hit one more target, I'll have three. And if I can do that, I'm going to end this video pretty shortly. Let's see if I can do that. Why a bow and arrow? Well, they're going to take your guns away if they can. And probably not going to take the bow and arrows away. All right. That is... I do want to do one more thing before I quit, but I'm trying to keep them short. My mission is to declare the name of Yeshua the Messiah before men. That's a direct order from Jesus in the Bible. Declare my name before men... And that means just tell people, yes, I believe in Jesus. I believe he can give eternal life. I'm declaring his name as the legitimate ruler of this world. And eventually he will come back and he will defeat Satan. And will be under a, you know, a king, God king. Okay, this is Gardner Israel signing off.